Hi, and welcome. Today's topic is 5 Practical Strategies for Consent in Everyday Life. Consent is a cornerstone for respectful and healthy interactions. It's about expressing your desires, listening actively, checking in regularly, respecting a no, and being self-aware. These strategies are not just for romantic relationships, but also apply to friendships, familial relations, and professional scenarios. They're tools to enhance our communications, respect, and understanding in all relationships. So without any further delay, let's dive into the first strategy. Our first strategy is about asking for what you really want. You see, it's vital to articulate your desires and needs clearly and directly. Don't hold back, express them openly and confidently. This candid communication not only aids you in achieving what you want, but also paves the way for others to comprehend and respect your boundaries more efficiently. It's all about fostering an atmosphere of clarity and respect. Remember, clear requests lead to clear responses. Next up is active listening. This isn't just about hearing words. It's about truly understanding the speaker's message and emotions. Think of it like this. It's one thing to hear the lyrics of a song, but it's another to feel the rhythm of the music. Active listening involves paying close attention to both the words and the nonverbal cues. It's about immersing yourself in the conversation, connecting with the speaker on a deeper level. Active listening fosters a deeper level of empathy and connection in your interactions. The third strategy involves regular check-ins. In the world of consent, it's crucial to remember that it's a dynamic process, not a static one. In ongoing relationships especially, it's important to constantly check in with your partners, friends, or colleagues. Why? Because feelings change, boundaries shift, and what was okay yesterday might not be okay today. Regular check-ins show that you understand and respect these changes. This shows that you respect their changing feelings and boundaries, ensuring that comfort levels are always mutual. Strategy 4. Respecting a no. It's a simple word but holds profound importance. When someone says no, it's a clear boundary, a line drawn in the sand. It's crucial to accept this without pressure or judgment. Don't try to negotiate or persuade. Instead, respect their choice. It's not just about a single instance, it's about acknowledging their autonomy, their right to decide. This respect reinforces trust and fosters healthier relationships. Remember, respecting a no is respecting a person's autonomy and comfort. Finally, we have self-awareness. This, my friends, is the cornerstone of any healthy interaction. It's all about being conscious of your own boundaries, understanding your limits. It's about recognizing when you're comfortable and when you're not. And it doesn't stop there. Once you've mastered self-awareness, you're in a better position to communicate your comfort levels to others. You see, clear communication is the offspring of self-awareness. When you understand your comfort levels, you can communicate them more clearly to others, which is essential for healthy interactions. That's it for today's strategies on consent. We've journeyed through the importance of expressing our desires clearly, actively listening to others, regularly checking in, respecting a no, and being self-aware. Each of these strategies is a key step towards fostering healthier, more respectful interactions in our day-to-day -day lives. So let's put these strategies into action and elevate our communication skills. Like, share, and subscribe for more content. Remember, consent builds respect. See you next time.